What's going on, YouTube? It's AG here. Today I'm going to bring you my week three college football top 25 rankings. And again, this is my top 25 rankings. This does not reflect the AP poll whatsoever. This is judging strictly from what I saw and I've seen so far this year on the field. Now, we had an excellent Saturday of football in week two, going up until 2 a.m. in the morning last night with BYU and Baylor going to overtime with multiple ranked games, multiple overtime games. This weekend didn't disappoint. It's going to be pretty tough to top this weekend. We had a ton of upsets, and we have a few newcomers to this week's top 25 as well. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so this week I'll be bringing my week three college football top 25 rankings. We do have four newcomers in this week's top 25, and our first newcomer comes in at number 25. All right, so number 25, I've got Texas Tech. They were not ranked last week. They're coming off an impressive 33-30 win over Houston in overtime. And this week, they've got a top 25 matchup against NC State and what should be a pretty good one. All right, so at number 24, I've got Pitt. They were number 17 last week for me, and they dropped a little bit after losing Tennessee in overtime. They had a big lead early in this one, and if Keaton Slovis doesn't go down, they probably win this game, to be honest, because they were scoring early. They've got Western Michigan next week. At number 23, I've got another newcomer for me this week, Ole Miss. Ole Miss is coming off a 59-3 win in which their offense looked pretty impressive. They've got Georgia Tech this upcoming week. So coming at number 22, I've got Florida State. The Seminoles didn't do anything to get dropped down from number 20. They just had a bye this week. They play Louisville this week. Louisville hasn't looked very good so far this year, so the Florida State should roll. At number 21, also making their first appearance in my top 25 for the year, we've got Wake Forest. They're coming off a 45-25 win over Vanderbilt in the return of quarterback Sam Hartman which already looked in midseason form, thrown for 300 yards and four touchdowns. They play Liberty next week before a huge top 25 matchup with Clemson. So at number 20, I've got another ACC team making their first appearance in my top 25, NC State. NC State is coming off a 55-3 win over Charleston Southern. They play Texas Tech this week in what should be a battle between two top 25 teams. At number 19, I've got Texas moving up from number 24 for me last week. They lost to Alabama this week, 19-20, in which, again, they looked pretty good in. Their defense looked legit versus Bama. The offense just couldn't help them at all once Quinn Ewers got hurt. They played UTSA this week in what could be a pretty competitive game. At number 18, I've got another team moving up this week. we got Penn State moving up from number 21. They had a 46-10 win over Ohio. They play Auburn next week in what could be a pretty good game. At number 17, I've got Florida dropping down from number 10 after a 16-26 loss to Kentucky in the Swamp. They've got South Florida this week. At number 16, I've got Oklahoma State moving up from 22. They struggled a bit this week in a 34-17 win over Arizona State. They play Arkansas Pine Bluff this week. At number 15, I've got Baylor dropping down this week after a loss in overtime to BYU 20-26. They play Texas State this week in what should be a nice bounce back game for them. At number 14, I've got Tennessee coming off a nice comeback win in overtime over Pitt. They were down early. If Keaton Slovis doesn't get hurt, they probably lose this game. But hey, a win's a win. They've got Akron this week. Coming in at number 13, I've got Oklahoma. This may be low for some, but I'm not the highest on the Sooners this year. They're coming off a 33-3 win over Kent State. They play Nebraska this week, and which will be their first game without Coach Scott Frost. Coming in at number 12, I've got Michigan State. They're also moving up this week. They look pretty dominant against Akron, in which they rolled to a 52-0 win. They play Washington this week in what could be a sneaky upset win. Coming in at number 11, I've got the Utah Utes. They had a nice bounce back win and a 73-7 beat down to Southern Utah. They play San Diego State this week. Coming in at number 10 for me this week, dropping down from number 9 last week, I've got Miami. The Hurricanes are coming off a 30-7 win over Southern Miss, in which they started slow but finished strong. They play Texas A&M this week in what should be a big game. Coming in at number 9, making their first appearance in the top 10 for me, I've got Arkansas. Moving all the way up from number 15 after a 44-30 win over South Carolina and Spencer Rattler. The Razorbacks have got two quality wins so far this year. They've got Missouri State this week. Coming in at number 8, I've got another SEC team making their first appearance in the top 10. We've got Kentucky. They're coming off a very impressive 26-16 win over Florida in the Swamp. They look pretty good today. They play Youngstown State this week. It's coming in at number seven. I've got another team making their first top ten appearance this week. We've got BYU. The Cougars are coming off a huge win in overtime over Baylor, 26-20, in a Big 12 preview and a battle of the kickers. They play Oregon this week in what could be an interesting game. 
At number six, moving up one spot from number seven, I've got USC. They're coming off a 41-28 win over Stanford, in which the game wasn't near as close as the score suggests. The Trojans look good this week. The offense is popping. Keep an eye out on the Trojans. They've got Fresno State this week. So starting in the top five at number five, I've got Clemson. They're dropping down from number four last week for me. They had a 35-12 win over Furman this week. It wasn't the prettiest win, but as Clemson does, they win. They have LA Tech this week before back-to-back games against Wake Forest and NT State, which will show what Clemson's really made of. All right, so moving up to number four this week for me from number five, we've got Michigan. They won over Hawaii 56-10 to in another dominating win. They play UConn this week. All right, so coming at number three, I've got Georgia, which honestly has a case to be number one, just like number two and number one do. They had a win over Sanford this week, 33 to nothing. They play at South Carolina next week in what may be a sneaky good game. At number two, once again, is Ohio State. They're coming off a 45 to 12 win over Arkansas State, in which the offense looked a lot better today without Jackson Smith and Jigba. They looked explosive, and Marvin Harrison Jr. filled the void nicely. They've got Toledo this week. Once again, coming at number one, we've got Alabama coming off a one-point victory over Texas and once they looked pretty rough. It was the most penalized game in history under Nick Saban. They played terrible, and yet they still pulled out the win. They've got ULM this week. Now that we finished my top 25, here's a quick look at my next four out. These four are in no particular order, but we've got SMU, Cincinnati, Texas A&M, and Houston. And we had four newcomers to my top 25 this week, Ole Miss, NC State, Texas Tech, and Wake Forest. And here's a look at my four dropouts for the week. Notre Dame, Wisconsin, Houston, and Texas A&M. All losing to unranked opponents at the time. So to recap, here's a look at my top 25. Make sure to comment your rankings down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. That way when I post more college football related content, you'll be the first one to know about it. Make sure to stay tuned later in the week for my week three game picks. Until next time, AG out.